Good evening, runners. It's been uh, one day since I finished the Good Life Half Seat down in Lincoln, Nebraska. But first, let me thank uh, Pink Gorilla, spectators, the volunteers, the Lincoln Police Department, which saved me from being hit by a car twice, if I remember. Uh, the, the damn drivers in this state, I can't, let me tell you. It'll be another video from a different time, but um, it was an awesome event. I really enjoyed myself being out there. Um, I'm definitely sore, but not as sore, sore as I was from the first uh, half marathon I ran a couple weeks ago. Did a little bit more stretching this event than I did prior, and uh, it seemed to make the difference because I really thought around the 8-mile mark I was going to have the same uh, groin cramps, if you want to put it that way, that I had the first time. So um, hip flexors a little bit sore, knees a little bit sore, but I definitely PR this event. 1 hour, 29 minutes, 24 seconds. I beat my time for my first hair first marathon um, by seven minutes so I think I did a pretty good job I'm proud of myself I guess <laughs> not to toot my own horn um, sorry about the quality of the video I'm at home on a shitty ass laptop so bear with me promise to get better stuff as the time goes on but it is what it is I suppose um, I do have some observations and some lessons learned um, from this um, this will obviously change based on your needs, but this is what helped me and what I saw from other people during the race. Um, number one, hydrate. Um, I watched people drop like flies as we got around, or at least towards the end of the race. I mean, I finished 117th out of 4,499 people, and the people I was watching drop were the people that were in front of me around the 10 mile mark. Uh, for whatever reason, maybe they had to go to the bathroom, maybe they were dehydrated or cramping. Um, but these guys were all super athletes in my eyes because they were way out in front of me or maybe they just pushed themselves too hard. Um, but definitely hydrate, take advantage of the A stations, the Gatorade stations, the gels. If you're not used to running that far, if that's your first time, second time. But again, it's based on your needs and how much you train link up into the event. Um, number two, wear the right gear. When I showed up, I was in my pants, my sweater, ready to go, got out of my truck. Took everything off and said, nah, it's not that cold, even though it was 30 degrees. Five minutes later, I was like, yep, it's pretty cold. So I went back to my truck, got back in my truck, turned on the heat and waited until five minutes before the race start. So it was nice and warm before I got out there. But of course, got instantly cold again as soon as I got up to the, the start line. Um, wish I would have worn my gloves. Um, but again, I was trying to be a man and tough it out. And my hands were pretty much frozen for the th first three miles before my body started to warm up and I got feelings back in my hand. So don't be a hero. Wear the right stuff. You know what I mean? So um, another thing I learned, because I've never seen this in any race I've been in, um, the tinfoil they give you at the end, utilize it. Pretty much every runner around me was using it except for me. And I think uh, I grabbed one, but it didn't do anything for me. But I learned about 30 minutes later that the reason why they wear the tinfoil because my body instantly went into a state of shock because I was freezing cold um, and I was shivering and convulsing like it was going out of style when I was drinking my beer. Um, so yeah, keep it with you, utilize it. I know I definitely will next time I run, especially in the winter time. Um, and like I said before, use the A stations. I think that's number four on my list. Um, like I said, don't be a hero. The goal is to finish. You want to finish. I mean, that's that's where it's at. If you're dropping out or you're, you're DNFing, I mean, you really got nothing to show for. Why show up if you know you're not going to make it all the way? So even if you have to push yourself to get to the end, um, do whatever you need to do to get there because that's where the pride takes place. It doesn't matter if you ran, it took you four hours to do it, three hours, five hours, whatever. I think the last person in this race, it took him almost six hours to finish the race. So um, do what you need to do to get there towards the end. Um, Again, overall, great event. Loved every minute of it. Can't wait until next year. Uh, hopefully I can place in the top 100. Um, but who knows? Um, whatever. So with that, um, the next two weeks I'll be preparing myself for the half marathon trail run. So I'm trying to move up into the, the trails um, since the running season is pretty much done for the road courses and don't really pick those back up to next year. So. The continuing on that I'm doing to run the Ultra will start pretty much tomorrow. Um, we'll see what happens. I'll definitely record as much as I can and give lessons learned as I go through that. Um, but good night. Remember to push yourself, and I'll talk to you guys all later.